Hey Justine. Hi Heather. What is going on? Um, not much. What are you doing? We are recording Your Incantations episode 8. Are you sure it's 8? Yeah, I checked before. <laughs> I had no idea. It's been so long. I know, we took a little summer break. Did you know it was episode 8? No, I don't know what episode it is. They know. Do they? But they do now. Okay. Well, <laughs> episode 8. Justine's Little Rusty. Your Incantations, um, Of the Your right? Incantations yeah. podcast. Yes. That's what is happening right now. It's great. I'm so excited. Hi. By the way, I'm Justine. Oh. Justine Chanel Designs. What do you do? And you can find me at Justine Chanel everywhere. I, what do I do? <laughs> um, I design knitting patterns and I sometimes dye yarn and... That's I amazing. do. I knit a lot. I do a lot of knitting. What do mm-hmm. you? Who are you? What do you do? <laughs> um, I'm Heather, and I own a yarn store. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> I own Heather Yarn Co. in uh, Grass Valley, California. That's where we are right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, Justine. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I have. A couple of things to show you. Yeah, what are we going to do? You do you have a couple of things to show me? Yeah. And then, um, is it true that we also have a few things for this year in about a yarn crawl? Yes, it is. Them? So, yeah. stay with us, if you can bear it, <laughs> until the end. Yeah, we're going to do end. Yeah, we're going to go over um, what we have coming up for the 2021 Sierra Nevada yarn crawl. I'm so excited. Thank you very very excited it did less than a week well oh it'll be um tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> we'll record it edit that Wednesday Wednesday night. Night. oh no my poor shawl <laughs> came apart oh, just well maybe we should segue into what we're wearing since yeah my poor shawl just came out That's yeah awesome. so i'm wearing this is the of the moon shawl mm-hmm. by caitlin mm-hmm. french yeah. and this is knitted wit Mm-hmm. and a little bit of Madeline Tosh mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's not quite long enough to wear as I like to wear it like you have so mm-hmm. I decided to do the little shawl cuff thing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with my little wrist ruler bracelet yes. is that was that color of knitted wit called the great pumpkin it sure was it's the so great cute. pumpkin I love that I know. color so this is my official spooky season Mm-hmm. shawl you got some spooky earrings i on. do have some yeah. spooky earrings so these are my little skull earrings that my dad got for me for my birthday years ago Cute. and then i have my hot house jewelry mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is also very spooky yeah halloween mm-hmm. like october opal you know you know you're a libra you know they know and that's about it how okay. about you what are you wearing i am wearing the amani shawl um by Beautiful. tammy gore and this is knit with um my yarn is the black release the best and the other colors are spun right around i have my um earrings from jen on um children Children of the rice Rice. Mm -hmm. i love those those are so cool and i copied you and i put my wrist ruler on my shawl look at that matching i thought that was really fun (laughs) i think it's fun too I mean, I didn't, this is not original to me. I'm copying someone, too. So. You didn't invent that? Did not invent this. No, oh. not at all. I want to knit a Caitlin French pattern again. I've been thinking about it. They're There's one good. right here. This one over here? The burgundy? Yeah, that's the 7 and 0 shawl. I love her pattern. I know, I love her patterns, too. This one was a lot of fun because this is just, like, relaxing stockinette. Mm-hmm. And it has, it has like, a kind of cool spine down the center. Mm-hmm. It has, like, a few extra stitches down the spine. And then on the edge, it's got, like, eyelets and a little bit of, like, a... It looks like a faux uh, cable, mm-hmm. but it's a faux cable with this, like, kind of slip stitch pattern. Yeah, cute. And then a little more garter. Let's bring back the Caitlin Hinch pattern. Okay, let's do it. She's got plenty of them. I know. They're beautiful. I know. She posted on Instagram the other day that it's been seven years since her hysterectomy. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my god, that was like that. You know how you I, know people yeah, that I thought you don't just, know on right. Instagram? I was like, that just happened. Right. Right. Like, how long have we been following Caitlyn French for? Forever. Like since she worked at Bad Anna's. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I know, but it seems like just a minute mm-hmm. ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I saw her in person at Stitches a long time ago. She's a giant. I didn't talk to her. Is she taller than us? Yeah, she's like Stephen West height. Okay, that's way taller than me, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, that's how our, that's our barometer, Stephen West. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a good way to it measure. It is a good way. Well, let's see. What you got? Um, well, I actually don't have a lot to show you because I can't show the people and the camera because they're top secret design projects that I'm currently knitting on. But I do have a couple little whips that I think I've shared with you before, but mm -hmm. I made some good progress, so I wanted to show you. Yes. Shall I start? I would love that. Okay. First of all, I don't know who made this bag, but it's adorable and it's from Michael. Hi, Michael. And it's got little birds knitting, wearing sweaters on a knitting okay. needle. I know, I love it too. Um, of course, I'm in the middle of a row. <gasps> Classic. Iconic. Technically not, because I'm turning a heel, but it's a little awkward to show anyway. Um, look at this. Look at this little sock. Remember when this was a toe? Okay. So this is Heather's beautiful anniversary yarn, Pink Full Moon. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it as a sock, and it's got, like, this really interesting kind of striping cooling effect mm -hmm. with all the different, like, cool. pinks and grays. Mm -hmm. And so I just finished the foot, and now I am turning the heel. See that right there? I'm turning the heel. And I'm doing, so I'm doing toe up, and then what I'm going to do on my heel is, like, a little um, slip stitch pattern across the heel turn and then mm -hmm. I'm going to do that for my heel flap as well and that gives it like a little bit of extra texture and strength in the yes. heel but these are the first socks that I'm knitting for me ever because all my socks are destined so for other people I know I'm really excited and I'm knitting them on um size two which is giving I don't know it's like a really nice gauge I like it mm -hmm. but yeah isn't it beautiful Oh, Great so job good. dyeing this yarn, Heather. Great job knitting it. Yep. Good job all around. <laughs> so oh, I man. just, I don't know. I tucked this one away and then I pulled it back out recently to kind of just do, you know, some little relaxing potato chip knitting good. in between stuff. And it's so fun that I'm on the heel. I love it. How long do you like, oh, you don't know because it's your first for you sock. Oh, how long do I want the cuff and stuff? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but yeah, since it's for me, I just keep putting it, like, that's how I decided when to do the heel, mm -hmm. um, and aren't you surprised I'm not doing two at a time? I thought you would say something about oh. that. <laughs> yeah. Just one at a time. So I pulled it on my foot and was like, yeah, that sounds good, and then started the heel, but I think, I don't know, I hope to get at least mid-calf. I want to, I don't want to do like a shorty. I want to do like a mid calf mm -hmm. size, but I'll weigh them yeah. and see when I'm about halfway and then I'll bind off. Um, and then don't recommend this, but you know, this, I, I'm an adventurous knitter. I'm not writing anything down and I'm just going to count later. I'm just going to read my knitting. Great. <laughs> um, yeah. As a yarn store myself. owner, I think that's really fun. <laughs> but I know that you will take care of it yourself later, and now I won't have to. They're for me. They are for me. If they were for someone else, I would be more <laughs> diligent. But so that's my that's my first whip. I love it. Do you have any whips? I have one that I have here because I have a lot of other. Well, I want to see. Okay, great. Okay, great. And my whip was meant to be a hoe today but it's just an almost a hoe. Sometimes you gotta whip like Justine. Whip it good. <laughs> okay. Yes. Agreed. <gasps> mine is also soft. It's so cute. So um mine is a cuff down sock with a knit one slip one heel. As well. Nice. Also. Nice. Um, is this dream date? Yes. It's beautiful. <sighs> oh, there's a new cat in my life. <gasps> She just found hair one on her. of her little hairs on her. But. Yeah. Um, this is a vanilla sock that is a pattern in my brain that's like a bunch of patterns put together with just the parts Same that I like. Same mine. Yeah, that's why I didn't say what yeah. the pattern was because there <laughs> isn't one. Yeah, this is my needle runs through it little. Oh, so cute. <laughs> 
I think you gave me this set. I did. A uh, really long time ago. Your yeah. fir- our first year birthday together. <laughs> so <laughs> special. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so this is my cutaway dream date, and I had never knit socks out of it before. And oh. I wanted to see what it would look like. So I pulled beautiful. what I thought was the ugliest skein of dream date. And it is really pretty knitted up. So I'm it's very happy with it. Super ugly. Thanks. <laughs> you said it, not me. You did a gusset and everything. Yeah, I did cool. a gusset. What I else know, me am too. I going to do? I don't know. Jeez. Just go for it. Jeez. No. Okay, so that's what I have. And then here's the rest of the skein. And I do like a short sock. Yeah. So, there you go. So you're going to have a little leftover, probably. Oh, yes. For some hexy puffs or something. Or yes. for this guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's more mm-hmm. my speed these days. Yeah. And then I am very close to being done with my pinguano. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm on the final part of it right now, so it's so on like three super long circular mm-hmm. needles, and it's just, it's too much to have. I'm almost done with my Gabrielle. I wonder <gasps> if next podcast episode we'll have our sweaters. Yes, we, we can will. wear them. I think we're both going to finish them by tomorrow morning, Thursday, for the yarn crawl. Are so we? Okay. To knit we'll really fast tonight. To it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely hold me to it. You want to see my other whip? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. The other one I'm allowed to show. Okay. So I've got my cute Della Q bag. You guys mm-hmm. have seen this before. My favorite Angus pin. Mm-hmm. And in here I've got another sock that I just started. So I'm just at the toe, which I know isn't much to see, but I think it's still worth sharing. Look at how cute that is. <gasps> A little baby toe. That's very cute. Um, so this yarn is by Candy Skein, and it's in the color Honey, and it's so delicious and soft. And I'm knitting this at a tighter gauge on a one, so it's got a really nice fabric. And then I'm just doing like a little ribbing across. So I just started the foot. I just finished the toe and started the foot. Is this the top here? Mm-hmm. Can I touch it? Yes, ma'am. It's very squishy. I okay. like it. Oh, it's so nice. Isn't that a nice yarn? It's really like what's the right like a tight ply mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, twist. Mm-hmm, the twist that's yes. the word i like that toe a lot too I like I'm that toe mm-hmm. no me too adorable so that's my my other whip and that's all i've got for now more to come um, later i'll share it when i can share and i'm allowed to share that's so exciting we have a lot of exciting things in the works so i think we, I think, has anyone noticed we've been gone for a while? We took a little bit of a break. We did take a little bit of a break. So, summer break. Yeah, we had a summer break, and we have returned, and so much happened. So much. Justine's a famous knitwear designer now. <laughs> I own a yarn store. That all, that all happened <laughs> way before. <laughs> um, but I feel like. A lot. A lot has happened. It's been a busy summer. It's been a busy summer. Mm -hmm. And do you have any FOs? I have no FOs to show you. They're all, they're all sneaky. Yeah, they're all sneaky. Great. Do you have any? I have a couple. I have one of them. Okay. Okay. I'm going to see. You want? You want? Definitely. Okay, great. So I know there's a lot more than this. But they're all like samples in my shop that I finished over the summer, and I, they have little I garment labels on them and everything. Oh my god! So <laughs> that hello. is the Wee Cupcake, which is a free Ravelry pattern, and it is only written for newborns. But it's so sweet. Is this yeah. your bulky yarn? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, yeah, delicious. So one skein of is. my bulky weight. And in this cute little sweater. And if you're familiar enough with knitting, you can adjust the pattern to be for bigger oh, sizes. Yeah. But like it does this. only come in the one newborn size. This is so cute. And I like this little eyelet. Mm-hmm. You know, the yeah, stitch. So this is really, really sweet. sweet. And you can put a little button on there or not. Because, like, tiny babies, you don't want to put a 
yeah, you have, like, a button or any yeah. of that stuff. You just put it on for, like, a photo shoot or, mm-hmm. I don't know. What do you do with babies? You take photos of them. I think that's what you do. Great. Right? Yeah. Let that's us know. You do. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cute. So, I have that one. That's the first one. Um, yeah. And then this is, um, can you Oh, I remember this when this was a whip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so that remember. is the Flicker and Flame Beanie by Andrea Mallory, and it's knit out of some of my hand spun and some Malabrigo Rios. It's so pretty. So I the, love these yeah. colors together. Yeah, it was really fun to Because your hand spun has a little bit of this, like, soft gray, mm-hmm. pinkish mm-hmm. color to yeah. it. They've, I mean, it looks like you made both of them to go together. Yeah, well, when I was trying to find the, I knew I wanted to use that hand spun, and then mm-hmm. looking at the Rios, I was like, oh, that's exactly what I want to yeah. do. So Flicker and Flame, right? Yes, ma'am. By Drea Renee Knit. Yes, it is. I like these little labels you have. Thanks. So when you come in the store, you can see little samples and find out how to get the pattern. And then, so the next thing I have is like a cheater whip, because, or FO, because I did not finish or knit any of it, but this is knit by our dear friend Juliana, who does a bunch of the shop samples, and it's always so cute. It's so cute, and it's perfect for our spooky attire right now. So So this is the forever spooky (laughs) Um, beanie by our friend Dis Yarning, and... You can find this pattern okay. on Ravelry or on their website. Um, follow Barbies? at That's the cutest. Yes, oh Dis Yarning on Instagram. Look at that. And then I found out that they made a freaking sock pattern. Have you seen the socks? No. You haven't seen the socks? Liz? I haven't seen the socks. It was released like right as Juliana finished this. It has the spooky little little ghost spooky on the cuff. These are like the sweetest little ghosts. Look at them. I they're know, having they're a great so time cute. partying. They're on really a hat. excited to be on a hat and on socks. So, okay. Well, big shout out to Dis Yarning. So I cute. this is so cute, and now I need to make the socks. Yes, please make them for me. Since you only Juliana, knit if you me. could knit us some <laughs> yeah. some shop sample socks. Mm-hmm. Four of them, please. Yes. We need four. You know the sizes. Thanks in Thank advance. You. <laughs> that yeah. is so cute. I love these colors, too, by the way. Mm-hmm. This, like, I, I did classic pick the classic orange and purple. That's yeah. how I hoped. <laughs> that was your contribution? Yeah. Look at this cute little stack of FOs. Yeah, so I feel um, I finished a lot of other things, and they're just not here. So that's all you get today. I feel like we're going to kind of do like a quicker episode today. I don't know. Oh, not one more. Oh my god. You, you hit it from me. yourself. You didn't tell me. You were better. hiding it. Jeez. You were hiding it. Okay. I did finish other things. There's a, this is a big one. Drum roll, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, our ends galore though. I mean, it's what am I nearly Justin? finished. What am I? Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wow. Okay, I did finish my sorrel. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It is so pretty. It's not blocked, and it's got ends everywhere, but I will be finishing it before the yarn calls It's an almost FO. And um, this was meant to be the spring sorrel. You're going to wear this during the prom? I'm, I mean, we'll see. We'll okay. see. This can be so cute. Um, this was meant to be a spring sorrel. I started it for the um, knit along that Jess of Totally Red Yarns and Ashley of Nerdy Fiber started in mm-hmm. the spring. And it's that was finished a while ago. now. But I added longer sleeves because it's my oh, yeah, spring that has colored sleeves, huh? fall sorrel. Yeah, this is a beautiful view. This is a aquarium really trap? To knit. Yeah, this right? is my colorway yeah. aquarium trap in the DK weight. Um, look at how it looks on the pearl stitches. Yeah, oh, it looks so fun. good. Yeah, mm. very fun to knit, enjoyable knit. I really love the ribbing. I love a nice long ribbing at the bottom oh, of the sweater, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind my dye fingers. They're, they're bad today. <laughs> Since the yarn calls tomorrow, I've been up dying yarn at night time. I'm surprised mine are good. It, like, they were pretty gray the other yeah, day. Yeah, my um, gloves. Oh. 
It's part of it. So there we go. Gorgeous, it's Heather. Done. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Justin. You're finishing your sorrel. It's so pretty. I want one of those too. Yeah, I should do it. There are several different. I know. Ones. I really love so the look of the mohair one. Different and different, did you yeah, see different. they just did the baby ones? They did a baby version of oh, sorrel so and a bunch cute. of other ones. You put it on a baby and take a picture. Mm-hmm. Right, everyone? Yes, that's what you do with babies. Great. Great. All right. Well, how about a couple of uh, stash acquisitions before I think that's a really fun idea. we go to the next thing? Because I recently got some yarn that I'm really excited about. Yes. Okay, so first and foremost, I have um, admired wolf oak from afar, but never gotten my own for some reason. And if you guys don't know what wolf oak is, they are a yarn company that has like a very, 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 very special merino base mm -hmm. and other bases too, but, but their merino is like mm -hmm. absolutely chef's kiss. Yeah. So I treated myself to these two gray games of wolf oak. And this is their classic fingering weight merino. And I just, so I saw this one hanging up and I just had to have it because it's marled gray and black which yes, is I amazing. love marled feel this I, yeah that's all I want to do I know I wish so obviously you're watching this so you can't feel it too <laughs> but just know that this is like so 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 soft it's so delicious it's got a beautiful bounce to it as well it feels so it's good. so squishy um, and then this gray is the gray that's in that marl. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them together necessarily. I just had to have them. Yeah. And the sample, what sold me is the sample that they had was, you know, finished and blocked and it had this beautiful halo. And I thought it had mohair in it because mm -hmm. of the halo. Yeah. And so, you know, it just blooms after you wash and block it. So, so I'm really soft. excited. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think I want it to be like, something that lives right here on my skin um so that's my stash acquisition that i got for my myself for me thank you justine i love it you're welcome that's all i've ever wanted <laughs> um i'm gonna have to like hold my arm up block you or something keep my stash safe i really like it isn't that beautiful my wolf oak i'm pretty so excited soft. about that do you have any stash acquisitions because I have a couple more. Um, I have a new project that. Mmm. Oh, yes. So. These are so cute. This is in honor of my new cat. <gasps> She's the cutest. Okay. There's a problem. I'll po we'll post her on a carousel with okay. the. Okay. Okay. So we got a new cat. Um, her name is Alice, and she is all white and has sure very white. blue eyes, and she's the freaking sweetest. Little so baby. now I just want everyone to know Heather has a white cat, a black cat, and a gray cat. <laughs> Girl after my heart. Yes. My, and so the Monochrome Kitty Club. I have made an Instagram for them, but I haven't posted anything you? on it. So I tell Dano that I need a white dog so I can complete my trio yes. to match your trio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Well. <laughs> So, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's Alice. Yarn. Yeah, it looks like a little Alice. That's so cute. That's a so. perfect little like sock project bag. Yeah. Oh, it has a flat bottom? Yeah. I yeah. love me a flat bottom bag. Yeah. So you got into canvas. So that's nice. Nice. And we have these in the shop. Super cute. I love it. And I'm going to show later, I have a bunch of new project bags in the store. Sweet. Very sweet. Okay, are you ready for this? Yes. Th so this is pretty special, and I hope you're as excited about it as I am. I'm really excited about it. Um, so I went to Jimmy Beans, and as we all know, Jimmy Beans does special colorways for special people. One for you. No! And one for me. Oh my god. So that one can go on your side of the couch. So for those of you who don't know, first of all, first of all, this is Anzula Squishy, mm -hmm. which 
I know how much you love Anzula and how much I love I Anzula do. and Squishy is like one of the best bases. Um, because the MCN. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay, so that's what the yarn is. But the color is called Gigi Made It in honor of the wonderful one and only Gigi Made It, Gay Glassby. And she's one of our favorites ever. And uh, if you don't know who she is, go look her up. She's the best. Gigi Made It. Mm -hmm. um, but she's a knitter. She loves orange. She is just a wonderful, like, knit person in mm. the knitting world. Yeah. And she, um, I got to take a couple classes from her. We got to meet her yeah, at we Stitches. Yeah, Stitches uh, 2020. And gave her, like, I couldn't help it. We cried a little when I hugged her, which... <laughs> Back when people <laughs> hugged each other I know. right before COVID. Right before COVID, I know. Like I gave last... her one of my business cards that said, Shop opens April 2020. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> And then she and Adela of Lola Bean did their Gigi Bean show, yes. which was like an Instagram mm -hmm. live thing that started at, after that time, like yeah. right as COVID hit. And we would watch it together. And we watched it <laughs> from to, our houses. We would be on video chat with each other, watching Instagram mm -hmm. live together. It was a pro it was yeah. bad. And we would <laughs> always so be funny. drinking our canned rosé. Our canned rosé. Um, yep. And Steve would watch it with me. Yeah, Steve like Steve got would watch it. Sometimes. It was so funny. He, would, he asked me about how Adela and Gigi were doing. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, but I just saw these in Jimmy Beans and I had to have it and I knew you had to have it too. Because the squishy. It so and then I couldn't help it. I also got the Madeline Tosh, like, this is the classic, yeah. like, vintage one. Mm -hmm. But I know you love Anzula more, so I got I you do. the Anzula. I do. Oh. I know. So beautiful. But yeah, just like this beautiful, bright orange. Mm -hmm. Beautiful color. So I don't know exactly what I want to do, but mm -hmm. I once upon a time knit Dano socks, not out of squishy, but out of the worsted version oh, yeah. of her MCN. Mm -hmm. And they were so For better nice. or for worsted. For better or for worsted, that's mm -hmm. right, yeah. And it has, like, the cashmere felted, I say air quotes felted, not really, it, like a, like kind of created a nice dense fabric around mm -hmm. the heels mm -hmm. and the toes and stuff. So not a bad thing for socks, but I think that this would like do the same thing mm -hmm. for socks and kind of be nice, but I don't yeah. know, or like a fun color popportunity in a shawl, a la Stephen West, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but either way. Oh, I love it. And this doesn't thing. count as stash because it's sock yarn. Yeah, sock yarn does not count as stash. If you don't already know that, now you know that. Yeah, I know. So, there you go. I love we it. Matching. Thanks, Justine. You're so welcome. I have a stash quisition now. A stash quisition. So, this is my stash quisition. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. By the way, um, because we are talking about the yarn crawl a little bit, Gigi will be at Jimmy Beans during the yarn crawl. Oh my gosh, I know. I know. And we will be... Wishing her a happy crawl from Grass Valley to Reno. <laughs> but if you're lucky enough to go to Jimmy Beans during the crawl, say hi to Gigi from yes, us. Yes, please do. She's the best. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's all the fun uh, just from my stash and project stuff that I have. Just teen. Yes, ma'am. What? What? Mm -mm. <laughs> Garrett. Oh, you really ruined that. <laughs> Garrett, please cut that out. Thank you. Um, okay, well, I guess I'm going to do with this. All, All right. Is then. it time? No. Not yet? Okay. Well, what are you getting? Oh, my God. What are you getting out? Okay. Well, I have some yarn that I dyed recently. <gasps> Not mm. for the crawl, though. Just no, for Heather yarn, yarn Co. For your yarn store? I'm gonna put it right here for me. Okay. Get ready, everybody. Oh you can just dump it. Perfect. Whoa, it's a lot. And it's a lot. Damn. I know, it's been a long time since we've seen A whole everyone. summer's worth of yarn. Okay, it's not a whole summer's <laughs> worth of yarn. It's like two colorways that are more than two. Okay, okay. I'm excited. Show me everything. I wanna start, um, since I was showing my dream date socks, mm -hmm. I dye dream date on three bases so I brought one Ooh. from each base to oh, show cool. um, some help holding how it looks on the different bases and to show how like every skein is 
completely different. Yeah. Um, the yeah. colors are always different. Very so. one of a kind. Yeah. Here's the sock. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And that's the 8515 um, superwash merino and nylon. Look at that. Oh wow. Look at those colors. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I really like these like bright purples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They kind of go between everything else. Mm -hmm. and speckles. Ooh, look at that up there. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the DK. Mm. This one has beautiful speckles. Look at how, like, mm -hmm. what's the right word? Like, contrasting there? Speckly? Speckly speckle. Speckly speckle. And then this is the bulky weight, which is 100% merino. I love your bulky weight. This is so nice. So this is what that little baby sweater was, right? Mm -hmm. This bulky weight. How many skeins did you need for that? For a sweater? Mm -hmm. One. It was like Just not even one? half of a skein for that size. Uh -huh. Yeah, this one. Look at that beautiful like blue into the green, yeah. yellowish color. Very fun. So yeah, let's see all three of them together. Just come my time. I'm more trying, hands. Trying, trying, trying. Look yeah. at that. So there you go. There's Dream Day across the bases. Gorgeous, Heather. Um, so, and you have a lot of this in stock, right? Yes, I am all stocked up for the crawl. So I have so come in day yours. across all the bases, and we're ready. We're ready for you. Okay. Let's add this to my pile with my GT. Um, I brought this out because this is what my sorrel is. Made yes. With. Oh wait, hold the sorrel up again next to this so one. that's my colorway aquarium trap and this is the dk wow look at how cool that is from the skein to the sweater yeah so i wanted to show you what that looked like before and this up it's so pretty thank you Justine. you're welcome and then um i brought this to let everyone know that I dyed a ton of release the bats for the crawl. And it's sold out. <laughs> um, and I have that in all the bases as well. I only grabbed one though. So I, I have that in the sock base, the DK base, and the bulky base. It really is so good. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's such a good one. I mean, after my gray loving yeah. heart. Release the Justine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. And then I have like two sock colors that I dyed over the summer that I really like, and Justine needs to name one of them. So this one is a Nick Cape colorway, and it's called Jubilee Street. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, this is good. And that summer. will be, that will knit up very similar to the way that the, um, oh, full pink moon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the, like yeah, a little bit of the striping yeah. action. Mm -hmm. I know, that was really fun. And that's why it's potato chip knitting, because you're just, mm -hmm. you just want to get to the next row and, like, see what color it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And then this one is, just you need to name it, because I unnamed? grabbed a skein. And Wait, oh, me these name aren't it? named. Okay. I mean, you don't, I mm. have to like it, so if you name it something bad, then I'll change it, but. I'm going to name it after something Taylor Swift said. <laughs> great, great. And you have to use it. You yeah, heard do, it here. Do that. Then. This is so cool, Heather. Thanks. With all these deep jewel tones. Look at that. Like a gorgeous turquoise colors and teals and pinks and purples. Yeah. I like this. Like these big chunks of black between it, though, as well. The gray. Great. As well. The gray is great. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. <laughs> so... Name. Hmm. I'll have to get back to you. Okay, you think about it. Okay, I'm and then it. I have some Halloween stuff. Um, so I came up, this was the first year. I guess last year I came up with some Halloween colorways. And then I just did them and I dyed them all the time. Mm -hmm. But this year I thought it would be really fun to make this like the first year of having an official, official Halloween colorway. For the year yeah so then this will not be dyed again Ooh. if it is dyed again it won't be until halloween 2022 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what i have is gonna be it 
and the chest seam will show it to you now. Okay. I dyed it on the bulky weight in the sock, and it's called Ghosts of Your Bones. Ooh, look at that. Oh, so I like that. So, this Very is a pumpkin. fun, um, I did grab a skein of each for my sock. Did you? Yeah, I really like it. Um, I think it'd be very cool socks and a very this cool, like, bulky hat. Yeah, look at how fun that speckle is, too. Mm -hmm. And some beautiful solids. I like it, Heather. Mm. Ghost of your bones. Okay, Ghost so if bones. you want this, you have to get it now. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and I have some listed on the website for the yarn call. Cool. So I have both bases available on the website. And if you... No, are interested speckles. in some and there's none listed on the website so good shoot me a message at heather Garenko on instagram mm -hmm. and i'll Get let you know more. if there's any more in the shop yeah it goes very well store. with all the halloween stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm excited about what you're about to show so then I spun some yarn, mm -hmm. and this colorway is called Halloween Town. Wait, I'm supposed to feel it. Yeah, it's 100% merino. Beautiful, beautiful texture. Um, that's so good. Look at that. It's really fun to spin it, and I have a couple skeins of that in different sizes. Okay. That one. That one's 348, and it's a sock weight. I love all those colors. Mm. Yeah, so it's mm. like blacks and grays um, plied with greens and pinks and orange and yellows. It's very Oh yeah, I see a little bit of that orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heather, this is so cool looking. Thanks. What would you I'm make with something like this? like this? Um, I like shawls knit with hand spun. Mm -hmm. I think they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, like really shows it off. Yeah. So I did the Reina shawl out of a skein of my hand spun. Oh, yeah, and that right. shawl really shows off um, like all the variation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you could put it in you know any of Andrea Mallory's shift yes. projects. Yes. Oh actually that's a good point. Yeah your flicker and flame mm -hmm. hand spun against like a yeah. Well, because she Over designs years. with mm -hmm. spin right round all the time. That's mm -hmm. true. Gorgeous. So there you go. All right. What do you think? Is it crawl time? I'm going to get official. You got to get official? Do crawl stuff. Okay. All right. Let's do some crawl Are stuff. Are you feeling official now? I'm. Yes. <laughs> I am. I. Okay, so we have yarn, shawls, <laughs> swag, so many things to show. Are you ready? Uh, no. Why not? I'm ready. Are you okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Are you um, ready? I also want it to be known to the people who are watching this video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's like a sneaky, not quite your incantation video. <laughs> That will be um, out during the crawl, starting tomorrow, mm -hmm. on the um, Sierra Nevada Yarn Crawl YouTube page. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is, I mean, Justine and I here, we can like be ourselves with you, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean how professional we were for the crawl videos? Yeah. If you watch the crawl videos, don't comment on those ones, please. <laughs> Comment we here. were on our best Comment behavior. Here. Best behavior. <laughs> and tell us um, if you think that we should be that way. For Are you trying to say that this is like the after hours version? I mean. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like there's someone that's not us recording us. Okay. So the like unofficial Yarn Contations, Yarn Contations episode you mean that Garrett? will be released. Garrett. Yeah, Garrett. Enough. Um, that was not recorded by Garrett like our episodes usually are. Right. Producer so. Garrett. Thanks, Garrett. All right, well, let's do it. What okay. do you want to start with? Um, I want to show all the beautiful, beautiful merch. Swag. Yes. And swag. Mm-hmm. Swag merch. 
merch swag, which Which is fun to have during the crawl too, which I'm sure you'll get into, but to bring along with you. Oh man. Did you forget something? It's fine. Okay. There's pictures on my Instagram. There's so, yeah, there's a lot of pictures (laughs) of everything. First off is the Delic snap bag. I have one of these. I love it. And it's really nice for color work. You have one, two, three, yeah. four colors you can be doing at a time. So you can so this opens mm-hmm. like that, right? And you can just put one color in between. Yeah, the snaps. just pulling them through. Have all your colors in the bag and you can just do, do, do. I actually had a customer tell me that they love their snap bag and they're knitting oh god, it's like the Al Alpine cam. The Alpine Lakes beanie. The Alpine Lakes beanie, which is a two-color <laughs> color work beanie, and they're knitting sure one right now, and they have the snap Who bag. Who is that by? Who's the designer? Garbage Girl 854. Garbage Girl 854? At Garbage Girl 854 on Instagram. That's the designer. Yep. Oh, Justine <laughs> Chanel is the designer yes. of that. Yes. Alpine Lakes beanie. That's me, officially. <laughs> The other one is her private account. But anyway, so. this lady was enjoying knitting that pattern with yes. this. Yes, 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 yes. Great. So, FYI. FYI. Great. Well, I love mine. So get the yours. Delicu snap bag for the yarn crawl. We do have those on the website. Mm-hmm. We have the things that I don't have with me on the website. So um, the needle gauge, which is really cute, mm-hmm. and the stitch markers for all the stores. So yep. it's a set of nine stitch markers. And each shop has one. Yes, which is such a cute idea because mm-hmm. then you can collect them all. And as mine you go has around. a crochet hook on it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very cute. Yours. It's very cute. Okay. And now this. This thing. Yeah. Should I whip it around? Yes. Ta da! This is a um, Sierra Nevada yarn crawl tote bag. It's huge. Yeah. It's a big it's old a nice sweater bag. bag. And then here. Oh my god, my dye fingers. I'm so <laughs> sorry, everyone. Right here. Right there, <laughs> that um, super cute little pin is for your stitch markers as yep. you collect them as you crawl, or you can, you know, not. Because they're the do little, that. they're the kind that like hang, you know. They yeah, have a little so they're for hang. knitters or crocheters. Yep. But I love this art. It's that so Kelly did. beautiful. The crawl it's so, so good. Pretty. Yeah, it's my favorite. I love the color scheme this year. Mm-hmm. Everything is so pretty. And then this is also probably a good shopping bag. Oh, yes. I got one for the crawl. So I have hint, hint. one of them. And I use it for not yarn. <laughs> I've been taking it to the grocery store. Oh, yeah. And then there's a store well, it's a really down nice... by the shop. And yeah, it's a nice, like, heavy canvas bag. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so these are the official merch. Yeah, so get yours. Mm-hmm. Before or during the crawl? Yeah, um, the shops will have some in store, whatever, if what they have left will be available for in store. Mm-hmm. Um, at the time, since it's the night before the yarn crawl when yeah. you're watching this, mm-hmm. there are currently, I have everything available in the store and online right now. Okay, good to know. And I have a set where you can buy all the stuff. Oh, like that in one. All, mm-hmm. Yeah, all in one. Awesome. Yeah. Did you do anything really cool for the yarn call this year other than design the make-along shawl? That's right. Oh, I my did. God. Did we even ever talk about that on here? Yeah, we showed those. Yes, right? we did. Yeah, we did okay, the make-along great. shawl. Yeah. The make-along shawl was the Emerald Bay shawl yeah. that I designed. And then, so... Every shop, just in case you haven't been on the crawl before. Oh, yeah. Should we have a little quick need to, hydration um, break? Cheers. Hydrate. Mm-hmm. Hydrate at home, too. Um, so each shop has a special yarn that comes with a pattern. And so every shop has, like, their own kit that they put together just mm-hmm. for the crawl. And so Heather and I each designed a shawl for the crawl. And you did the crochet one, and I did the knit one, and we both used Spun Right Round, which will be 10% off at Heather Yarn Co. only during the Sierra Nevada Yarn Crawl October 14th through the 7th. 
that's right. So you buy the yarn for the project and then the pattern comes free in the kit. Jackie. And here are the crawl shawls. Heather, we can do that at the same time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're really scared. I'm so That's scary. Not even trouble. <laughs> yeah, you are really scary. Just kidding. Um, here they are. Hope you like them. <laughs> All right. So this is. Should I describe mine first? Could you describe okay. mine? Yeah, sure. Um, so <laughs> this is the. I'm calling it the sand bar shawl because it has these interesting like bars of texture between the stockinette stitch and the garter stitch. And it's a triangle shawl, and it also has this cute little pico bind off. And if you have never knit a shawl before, or if you're looking for a very relaxing knit, this is a great mm -hmm. beginner friendly, easy, super, super easy shawl. Um, so you start up here, and then you just keep building and increasing and doing repeats of the garter stitch and the stockinette stitch. But what I love about this shawl is I decided to use two skeins of spun right round held together to create this gorgeous, like, hey. marled fabric. And so these are, like, the possibilities are endless for color combinations mm -hmm. that you could make. But what I used is deep end and biscuits. Mm -hmm. And then I put them together to get a completely different kind of color. But speckles together. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Deep end biscuits. That's right. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're gonna give me the giggles. Okay. <laughs> so well, I don't even know. Color combos. <laughs> so if you haven't marled colors before, um, it's one of my all time favorite things to do. <laughs> So good. I can't believe we never laughed at that before. <laughs> Those are great color names. Biscuits and Deep End. And together. Here you go. <laughs> so good. Please, everyone. Please. I know. Calm they're... down. Yeah. <clears throat> Grow up. Everything is funny. My colors are not that. No, yours are different. Okay. And not as funny names, I don't think. Do you remember what these things are? No. I know the green is caterpillar. I think it's not dusty rose because dusty rose. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Great job. I thought it got theme. updated or something. I there is name. an updated one. Has a different name. Mm -hmm. We'll find out together tomorrow during the crawl. <laughs> That's so exciting for all of us. <laughs> and these kits will be available on the website too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. And you, so instead of putting them together and marling, you did yours. Yes. Separate. Okay. Oh, so mine is crocheted. It's Look so how cute. freaking cute it is. It's so I cute. designed it like a knit shawl, and like you probably saw this on the last episode of your <laughs> Right? Because you had a work, work in progress that you were sharing, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I, I love the triangle, because it's like a triangle shawl. Just yeah, so up. it's like a knit triangle shawl, but it's crocheted, and um, then we have it striping. So we have like the thinner stripes of the pink and then it switches mm -hmm. at the end and then it has this fun cathedral edging. I love this. Um, I love this edging. It's so pretty. It's really sweet. And I really like it. And I can see myself making more of these because mm -hmm. I made this in it like was three like days. great and deep end in this kiss. Up! Okay. Heather, anyway, what is the name of your really pattern? It cool over. It is called Dogwood Bloom. That's right. So sandbar shawl and Dogwood Bloom shawl. There you go. Crochet and knit. So we did a great job with those. We did. And I think it was fun because we decided to go for basically all speckles yes. for yes, our yes. patterns, for our kits. Um, and it's really interesting yes. to put speckles together. Yeah, we put together a bunch of kits for you in really cool um, color combinations. And most of them are speckle on speckle, but there are some um, solid thrown in there, I mean, too. this would look really cool, marled with a solid and a speckle. Mm -hmm. And that yeah, would look, did kits that those. contrasting with a solid and a speckle would yes. be really, really pretty. Yes. And, um, yeah, we've put together some very cool spun right round kits for you all. And, and they're each two skeins, so the kits are two skeins. 
projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the patterns are free during mm -hmm. the crawl. And that's it. And we'll be here to help pick out colors too. Like if you look at the kits yes. and you're like, I want different colors or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. That's so that's another thing that you can do. Um, hopefully you're watching this as soon as it's released or else. And getting ready for the, the crawl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Justine's fault. But if you are interested in getting to know Justine during the crawl by doing a virtual shopping. Oh yeah, that's right. With mm -hmm. her. You can at her on Instagram, or That's you right. can at Heather Dianco on Instagram and request uh, virtual shopping to go shopping. Yeah, mm -hmm. to get shopping. That's right. Get Please shopping. Please get shopping. <laughs> By the way, Heather, <laughs> um, I don't think we told people when the yarn crawl is. Hopefully, if they're watching this, they know. Yeah, but it's October fourteenth through the seventeenth. Okay. Also, yes, on October 13th, we will be doing an Instagram Live. That's right. And nothing else happens on that day. Except Paul Simon's birthday. And our friend Alice's birthday. And Jerry Rice. And, and Fox Mulder. And Fox Mulder. <laughs> And it's Justine's birthday, too. That's right. So if you are <laughs> coming to Heathered Yarn Company Instagram during life. the Sierra Nevada Yarn Club, Oh, during the crawl. Come, okay. let's tell Justine happy birthday and give her a big old COVID kiss. No. That's what she wants. No. That's what she wants not. for her birthday. No, please. Just kidding. Don't touch her. Masked. She hates it. Be Stay masked. away from her. Yes. Everyone, please wear your mask <laughs> in the shop at all times. And don't touch Justine. And we're going to plan something even better for your birthday. I'm going to get you back. <laughs> COVID will be oh done. No. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's my birthday weekend. Yeah, so. The yarn um, and I love yarn day, right? Isn't and that I love yarn day. On the, four, yeah, on 15. the 15th? Yeah. yeah. I always 16th. remember that because my birthday is always right mm -hmm. around I love mm -hmm. yarn day. And they did that for me, by the way, in case you didn't know. Yeah, so also, happy <laughs> birthday, Alice. Happy birthday, Alice. We love you so much, and we miss you. She's going to join us virtually, though. It's going to be fun. You better be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, virtually, not on your incantations, will be on Heather Dierenko yep. Instagram Live tonight, right, after you watch this, tonight mm -hmm. on Wednesday, um, October 13th, Justine's big day. Yep, big day. Uh, we will be going live on Instagram to hang out with everyone. Hang out, all getting and excited then about the crawl. We'll show you the same things that we're showing you tonight. <laughs> but we will have something that we don't have here. That's right. That's really exciting. Yep. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna find out with everyone else. I'm just saying yes because I believe you. I'm not lying. Nope. I think there's more. I'm more really excited for everyone to see. Well. I have more things to show you, mm -hmm. Heather, about the crawl. Mm. I'm going to make you show some of it, too, though. So some of it's I yours. Know. So another thing that is really fun about the crawl. Yeah, what else is fun? Is that Heather always gets special colorways that are limited edition. Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? The picture. I the just hope that people do things. No, <laughs> I just throw, I just think a thought and I'm like, gosh, I hope yarn dyers come to me. <laughs> not how it works. No, it's a really this cool thing that you do. This is your first time, Justine. It is my first time. And I told yarn. you mm -hmm. from my brain to your brain. That's right. Without words. <laughs> Verbally. Non-verbally. Okay, that's not what I was asking. <laughs> well, I'm explaining to you how it works and you should actually know that. I it's do. really embarrassing because that I you have to explain me. it again. No, you have to explain it to the people. Oh, okay. 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 So every year for the Sierra Nevada Yarn Crawl, this is the third year. Um, what I do, the first year was actually just Heather from Earl Grey, mm -hmm. who um, is amazing. amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, so what we do now is I take, I have a photo inspiration, an inspiration photo, and I give the same photo to all the dyers who have agreed to work with me via telepathy. Yes. 
with my mind. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so everyone gets the same photo and does whatever they want with it. And the first year, it was mm -hmm. a picture of the Yuba River, right? That's correct. And I think the second year was Yuba River again. Yuba again. Because I had multiple dyers because the colorway that Heather did for the first year mm -hmm. sold out immediately. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I asked her. I didn't even get um, a scan. Yeah, neither did I. Oh, yeah. Uh, Juliana did, though. She did. Because I saw it the other day. <gasps> From the first year. The first year and the second year. She had both of them side by I side. I did. And yeah, they're all the different. Yeah. And yeah. that's so good. So pretty. So, um, yeah, the first year I asked Heather to dye the colorway. The second year I asked if she would do it again, and mm -hmm. she did. And then, oh my god, so good. So good. And the second year we also asked our friend Christina from Till Torch mm -hmm. and Jess and Nerdy Fibers. Mm -hmm. So last year we had four custom colorways. And then this year, and they were all like you could tell like where the inspiration came mm -hmm. from, but they were still like their own. Yeah, and they thing. all went really nicely together. That's right. Too, which is the whole fun of everyone going from the same inspiration because no one. I don't we don't think see any, each other. Yeah, yeah, yarn dyers aren't gonna look at a photo and do exactly the same. No, thing. not at all. So this year we have four dyers. Mm -hmm. Um, one of them is. I'm just doing something a little bit different than everybody else. Do you know anything about that? I sure do. Are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> yes! So, yes, Heather, yes. Heather um, is responsible for my yarn dyeing problem that I have now. It's so um, fun, right? It's so fun. I'm totally into it. I'm completely hooked. So instead of, because usually you've done like, classic sock yarn or DK or like, mm -hmm. yeah, just mm -hmm. single skein. I'm going to do minis and mm -hmm. I'm going to do a mini set mm -hmm. inspired by the photo that we all got. What was the and photo so this year? It was of the, I can't remember the name of the house, but the mm -hmm. main house at Empire Mine, yeah. which is beautiful. like a beautiful stone building with like ivy growing over it mm -hmm. and like, like this big like stone wall around the front. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. Yeah. So without further ado, should we see some of the colors? Not all of them are here yet, so this is what we have. There's one. So, so you will see that tonight on the Instagram live. Oh, is that the special thing? That's like one of 100 special things. So, number one, let's start with you. Oh, great. So this That's one is great. done by Heather Diarnko. And this is your classic sock, right? Your merino. It's actually, sock. it's not, um, it's 100% merino, but my regular sock is merino nylon. Oh, okay. Oh, it's all it's super all wash. It's super oh, wash merino. Nice. So this one is called Gold in Them Hills. What is that? <laughs> I love it. And it's this beautiful, beautiful, like, gray, like, gunmetal gray color with, like, this golden sort of, like, what would you there's like some specks of orange and gold mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in there and like a little bit of dark green mm -hmm. kind of would you call yeah. that dark green yeah and there's more green under here right. or is it more teal yeah kind of more teal huh? green. yeah right there you can mm -hmm. see the little speckles oh Heather it's so pretty oh and some black speckles too I think it's some black speckles in there mm -hmm. so there aren't very many of these either, so if you want them, come and get them. Are they going to be in store for sure? Mm -hmm. And in store and online and online. Mm -hmm. So this is the first one, Heather Yarnco sock. Oh hey. Oh hey. Me. Okay, here's the second one. This is Earl Grey on Darjeeling sock, which is her super wash merino nylon blend, mm -hmm. and this is like light grays with beautiful like rusty and like olive kind of olive green mm -hmm. tiny bit of bluish tealish speckles mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's actually like orangey rusty bit this is the kind of yarn rusty. that you cannot see on the camera very mm -hmm. well you really have to like look up close to see all of the detail of the speckles but I might need one of these. Uh, yeah, and we have that in, um, that's the sock, and I also have it in the Oolong DK. <gasps> Ooh, nice. So that one's available in DK weight, too. Okay, so here, you hold these two. 
And then, last but not least, my little trio. And so I did three mini skeins. Oh, and here they are. So cute. So cute, right? So I did like the green of the ivy mm -hmm. and the gorgeous brown of the trees. And then mm -hmm. I did a gray with some like oh, yellowish so speckles mm -hmm. and a couple of little green from the green. And so I think that these, like if you're, I don't know. Look at this. You could get the whole you collection. Could, um, yeah, and there's going to be another one. Yeah, and there's going to be more. But I thought it would be fun to do minis that if you're getting some of the other colors, mm -hmm. like these could go with them. Like yeah. I love how the green in yours looks yeah. today. Right? Yes. And this brown in this one. Yeah, it looks so good. And then Jess's one is going to go great with the other one. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. So they, that's the fourth one. It's from Totally Rad. Oh, did I? Jess. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Spoiled that one for everyone. So. Oh, sorry. You didn't tell me it was a secret. It was just for the Instagram Live. I can't keep the secret straight. I know. But I'm so excited about these. These are so gorgeous. Yeah, um, your minis are amazing. Uh, thank you. Oh my god, I like so, them. They so were funny. fun. They were a lot of fun to dye as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's something about minis that are kind of, I don't know, like yeah. instant gratification. What is the base? So this is all um, a yak and merino and nylon base. Nice. So that's actually the, where the gray comes from, is that beautiful yak base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so um, pretty. But I love yak yarn and was knitting some socks with it mm -hmm. oh, it's so, nice. so yeah this is my yak base wonderful yeah mm -hmm. i think um it's gonna be really exciting for everybody to come see it in person mm -hmm. i think so too and those kits are we gonna put those on the website the yes set? yeah we'll have some minis on the website too so we're gonna kit these up together so yeah, they come as be a set, set of three mm -hmm. Okay. And then I will have other yarn as well that I'm dyeing that is currently getting packaged and ready to be available at the crawl too. I know, I'm really excited about it. So, more yarn from me, more yarn from you. More yarn from, from me to yarn. From me to yarn. From <laughs> Jess. Jess is doing some special yeah. colorways. Yeah, Jess, Jess is having a trunk show here. That's totally right. red yarn um, trunk show. We have a Justine Chanel Delorme trunk show. We have a Lick and Flames trunk show going on during the yarn crawl, Lick which will Flames, be yeah. um, yarn bowls and shawl pins. And then you have new archaic fibers. We right? have some new, new archaic. archaic. You have not a ton, not a ton, but a there little bit of new archaic. Maybe some new from Meaty Yarn. You got some more Malabrigo. I got some Malabrigo in. We have new Spun Right Round um, colorways. What else is so fun? My mm -hmm. goodness. Have to come and find out. My goodness. I think that's what we should talk more about during the Instagram Live. Is like, because then you'll have, I don't know, mm -hmm. like we can just like pile up all the yarn and show Amazing. everybody. Yeah. So, these are the special colorways, limited edition, just for the crawl, and yes. one more from Jess. One more to come. Yes. So, I think that's about it. I think so, too. I'm very excited for the yarn crawl. So I cannot believe it's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Happy birthday, Justine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, oh, so I know, you better get a good night's sleep tonight. Oh, so we can... I'm exhausted already. <laughs> no, it's going to be fantastic, and I cannot wait to see... Well, first of all, I cannot wait to do a little shopping, but I'll, let's mm -hmm. get shopping. But I also can't shopping. wait to see everyone's Emerald Bay shawls, because everyone's going to wear their make-along so excited. Shawl. I hope just cries. And I get to see, <laughs> to see everybody's, like, colors that they chose and mm -hmm. how they want to style them. And are you going to wear yours? It's going to be really fun. Yeah, probably. Okay, good. <laughs> Probably the whole call. Can I wear mine? The, the shop sample? No. <laughs> um, I need that. Okay, fine. Fine. But yes, all the swag, all the special yarn, we're going to have door prizes and like mm -hmm. other special mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Things on the website, virtual stuff. Yes. 
yeah, there's going to be a lot whether you're coming in person or online. So, yeah, we are so excited to see everyone. And thanks for um, waiting it out our summer break here. Yes. Thanks yeah. for your patience. Yeah, thank you for returning to us. And hopefully you had a nice summer break as well. Yeah, why don't you write a three-page essay in the comments telling us what you did over your summer break. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having a terrible <laughs> school flashback. <laughs> okay, um, do oh. by the next Yarn Cantations episode. But you know what? We're not going to do this again. No. Well, I mean, we're going to not take a super long break like that again. I thought you meant record podcast No, we will be doing it more again. frequently. Oh, yeah, that. But, yeah, we are back. I think so. I you know. Hi. Hi, how about Thank you so much. I'm so Did glad. You? Yeah, it's been so long since we've well, we seen you. But we still see each other all the time. But I missed just being so near to I know, you. and seeing all of you. Mm -hmm. But if you did anything fun over the summer that's yarn related that you do want to tell us about, I mean, you could. You or could not yarn comments. related. You know what else? What? Please. In the comments, we are out of a coven question. We sure are. Please yes. give us some coven questions mm -hmm. or even um, tell us what you did on your summer break <laughs> and we'll talk about it. Absolutely. I think that's fun. Absolutely. I think that's really fun. And we'll read it and tell everyone about what you did. Yep, we sure will. If you want that to happen. <laughs> we can also just see it. It's on, you know. Yeah, but who else reads other people's comments? I do. You would. I would. I'd like to see what, what's going on. What yeah. People thought. But okay. either way, it is so great to be back. Yeah, so, hey, thanks for um, coming back. And happy freaking spooky season. Happy spooky season. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.